celebrity hairstylist in Jerry Archer's resume extends from TV, print ads, special events, and so much more. As if that wasn't enough, she started her own line of hair care, Formula N. Today she tells us how she became the gold digger she is today and what's new and next with her brands. Stay tuned. Audience, please help me welcome celebrity hairstylist in Jerry Archer. Hi. Hey, thank Hi. you so much for joining us here on Gold Digger TV. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. We know you are a celebrity hairstylist, but we know that didn't happen overnight. Now tell us, how did all of this, this hair thing and you being a stylist and, you know, doing all of these celebrities, you know, how did all that get started? Honestly, it was a blessing. It was not something that I, uh, it was something I always wanted to do, but it, I didn't necessarily uh, run out and pursue it. The opportunity actually came to me. Um, I was working in a salon uh, in Harlem and so a friend of mine had an emergency uh, that needed a hair, uh, she needed a hairstylist for, um, Ashanti was my first celebrity client mm -hmm. and, um, you know, they hooked it up and, and that's how everything began, honestly. Wow. Wow. So like, did you start like doing your little doll's hair when you were a little girl and all of that? <laughs> um, I did. I, I was more like the block hairstylist versus the oh. doll hairstylist. <laughs> I have a lot of sisters and, um, I started with them, you know, normal braiding and things like that. And then, you know, later on did, you know, neighbors and then eventually, you know, went to school for it you know, right after I graduated from high school before college. Okay, wonderful, awesome, awesome. Okay, now you are now working at BET and you are part of their Power Team Beauty Pros? Well, yeah, I, I worked at BET for about three years. Um, okay. That I, I, I'm currently not working with BET, but mm. I've worked with them for about three years um, and on 106 and Park and uh, Don't Sleep and a few other uh, shows where I've done correspondence. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So you're not there any longer. No. But just tell us about that whole experience. You know, what was that like? It was actually a really fun and enlightening experience. Um, we, uh, I had a chance to work with some really great people, uh, learned a lot of things and, um, it, it was a really, really great, it was a great experience. Um, Okay, and you've been featured in so many different magazines, like um, Vibe Magazine, Essence, Entertainment Weekly, InStyle, and the list just goes on and on. But what would be your dream feature in a magazine? What would it be would your be dream? A Vogue cover, definitely. A, a Vogue cover? One, the, one of them, yes. Absolutely. And to work, you know, internationally with, um, you know, other magazines in that realm. Oh, wow. Like Paris mm -hmm. and Milan and yes. all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as a woman working in a male dominated industry, what was some, some of the biggest lessons that you've learned as a woman working in entertainment? One is to uh, don't take anything personally because um, <laughs> definitely, uh, you know, working with a lot of different personalities and, um, People at different levels of skill uh, can become challenging at times uh, when you're not necessarily known as of yet. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say it would be to stay confident and uh, work hard and, you know, hone my craft. That I mean, that was one of the, the greatest lessons I've learned, at least. The like, greatest lesson that you learn is just to really hone your craft constantly going to the you know the new thing like it's like a, a workshop or a conference yes. where they're teaching a new hairstyle or a new way to do a weave just constantly hone on your craft yes Absolutely. now let's get to your um your own hair care line formula in yes now tell us about because i'm sure this is your baby right yes it is formula in tell us about your hair care line formula in well formula N is uh, a natural uh organic line of hair treatments and we are developing shampoos, cream conditioners and all those things but it's a combination our, our popular product is the formula and drop-ins which mm -hmm. is a combination of vitamins and essential oils designed to build elasticity, moisturize, strengthen and repair damaged hair so um, formula N came about because I found myself constantly mixing different products together to get a result mm -hmm. um, I wanted to develop something that, that 
could help the quality and repair damage. So I honestly was shocked to see how many uses the product had. And mm -hmm. you know, if, even in its initial design, it was to be as a conditioner. But we now have discovered that it can be used in multiple ways mm -hmm. and um, it actually saves the, the client money versus for not having to buy a whole bunch of products. Okay, so now it's you said it, it was originally for as a, used as a conditioner. Yes, it's a vitamin boost too, and what it does is transform any regular conditioner into a deep conditioner because of the added vitamins and nutrients in it. Okay, so you add it you to add it your too. own favorite conditioner. Yes, and it just it's like a boost. Yes, and it just you know gives it more power. Yes. Awesome. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I know you're really excited about that. I'm I see very all in your face. About it. I'm very excited. <laughs> so when can we expect more um, products like, you know, shampoos, conditioners? Um, we're looking to release some new uh, products in early next year. Uh, hopefully by spring, the latest of next year that you, we, we actually have a new moisturizer that was just completed. Um, we're just waiting for a couple of other things to tie in and we'll be able to release everything, hopefully, by uh, spring 2015, spring. safely say, yeah. Spring 2015, well, mm -hmm. I look forward to that. I'm gonna have to try some of your products yeah, because I see how beautiful your hair is. Thank this you. is all of her hair, by the way. That's <laughs> all of it, just fling it, girl, fling it. <laughs> yes, yes, that's all of her hair. Um, when you first started Formula In, you, you know, the, the concept first came to you like in 2006, right? Yes. Okay, now from 2006, when it first popped in your head, to the first product, how long did that take? It took three years. It took three years wow. of uh, extensive research, uh, trial and error, uh, different combinations of um, ingredients, to, and then, you know, it finally came together in 2009. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow, that three years. Yes. That's a lot of patience. Yeah. That's a lot of patience. So you hear that out there, gold diggers? <laughs> you have to have patience. When you're on that road to success, it's not gonna happen overnight. You see, it took her three years to develop this one product, but look at where she's at today. She has celebrity clients, and she's doing her thing, and got more products coming out soon. Now, what were some of the mistakes that you made whenever you were developing Formula N, and how did, what did you learn from them? I learned, um, I learned one of the things that you just expressed was patience. I mean, uh, in the actually formulating it and sending it off to the lab, it could be, it could become an expensive process. So with that, you know, it, it was just a matter of, um, just, just trying it, just trying it on different types of hair and, uh, learning what ingredients to remove and what to add. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been, um, it's been a journey. It's wow. been a journey. Wow. Awesome. So you said you send it off to the lab. So you, did you have to deal with chemists? Yes. Whenever you're developing products? Yes. Wow. Yes. I mean, you want to test the safety um, of anything in the shelf life professionally, you know. So after it's, it was mixed and developed, it was then, you know, sent off and, you know, we took everything from there. Wow. So this is... This is not um, just no fly-by-night line you've no. got here. No, this is the real thing. She's dealing with chemists here. <laughs> I'm so sure there are so many different people that probably look at you and they're like, wow, she's, um, she's a celebrity stylist and um, you know she created her own hair product line. They, but they, what they don't know is the blood, the sweat, the tears that, that's behind the scenes. Can you talk about any kind of struggle that you've had as far as being a hairstylist, you know, try, really trying to make a name for yourself or just really trying to get your products out there? Yeah, I've had uh, quite, quite a bit of struggles. I mean, I've financed the line myself, so mm -hmm. it takes, um, again, more and more patience. It took um, sacrifice. Um, there were times where, you know, there are seasons when things are really, really busy and there are seasons when it's not. And, you know, I have to make do with like trying to live and, and, and birth a line and it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I do to, to overcome it is, you know, try my best to pull myself out of a dark space by, you know, just, just being hopeful and remembering why I started, mm -hmm. um, saving, coming up with free 
ways to advertise that if I couldn't <laughs> find, if I, if I didn't have it at the moment to do it, that mm -hmm. I, I would seek out ways that I could do things to, to mm -hmm. get my product out there. It's, it's a journey and I have not yet arrived. I'm on my way to becoming what, um, what I envision for myself. And this is just the beginning steps of, um, hopefully, a, a, a strong brand and a, a strong statement and something that can help contribute to the lives of people. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do through my products. That's what I want to do through my service is to make a difference in someone's life in a way. I don't want to package and present anything that is not going to do, do what it says. Exactly. So, Exactly. Well, well, amen to that. I mean, <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yes, I am. I'm very proud of you because, you know, like you said, it's it's not easy. And, you know, I understand that myself, you know, because I have my own brands. But, you know, trying to keep the keep the lights on, trying to keep food in the refrigerator and trying to keep a roof over your head while you're trying to build a brand, while you're trying to, you know, pay for this trademark. It's not easy. <laughs> no, it's it's, not at it's all. hard. It's hard. This trademark ain't cheap. No. <laughs> it takes the support of family and friends. Of I've had people uh, you know, invest in me, you know, invest in me financially and invest in me in my spirit when in the times where it gets hard. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I have a strong support system and that's that's what gets me through the hard times as well. Wonderful, so. wonderful. And of course, I know your relationship with God. Yes. Because, Top. you know, that's number one. Yes. That is number one. Because we go to the same church, by the way. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that's number one. Because without him... Impossible. 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 You lose your mind. And speaking of God, I could say from formula, and it should have been the first thing I said, but honestly, while I was in the mixing and researching process, you know, I was trying a whole bunch of different things. And I swear that it, it was a moment of prayer that I, God revealed to me what to eliminate. And that's why I have that product. That's why it works. Because what I thought of on my own mm -hmm. in mixing, it wasn't enough. So there was divine intervention. Wonderful. I understand that because I've definitely experienced that from, from God myself, divine intervention, that little voice, that little still voice that will yes. speak to you. Do you remember the moment? Um, yes, I do. I was sitting in my living room and I was trying to figure out what to do because it, each time of trying to formulate something and I think I have it, it's, it's wrong. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had... Some of the core things, but the what all the extra stuff mm -hmm. that I was adding was what was causing the product to okay. not work. And he told you what to take out. Right. And so you took it out. Yeah. And, and that's when you got the magic. Yes. Yes. Awesome. You got to listen to that still voice. That's God. That's nobody but God. When you're in the middle of the night and you get that little, that little inkling, that's God. Mm -hmm. um, As a hairstylist, uh, or as a businesswoman, or both, who were some of your biggest influences? Okay, that's a good question. Well, for one, my grandmother was one. Um, I grew up in that because she owned a salon, and um, I used to be there and helping. I learned a lot from those people. Um, but one person that actually took me kind of under their wing and trained me was a woman named Shonda Coleman. Mm -hmm. I was 18 years old and, you know, fresh out of school. And she taught me how to weave, how to style, how to do those things, like the core essentials before I learned, you know, how to develop my own way of mm -hmm. doing things. Mm -hmm. But um, she's a great influence. I would say any any strong woman in the industry doesn't have to necessarily be someone in hair. But mm -hmm. I mean, who isn't influenced by Oprah? <laughs> I mean, there's one. Exactly. Um, Madam C.J. Walker. Madam, exactly. <laughs> you know, that's another another great woman, businesswoman whom I try to um, of course, in my own lane, but you know, I that I get strong influence from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just as anybody that has the courage to step out and and accomplish their dreams. Oh and, my goodness! And you know, it, every 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 woman is my model. Is my its form of influence in some way. I feel we mirror one another. Exactly. Okay, so I know you have three products right now and you're currently developing more products for Formula N. Mm -hmm. Talk about each um, product that you have out now and what, they, what they're used for. 
Yeah. The Again, the formula and drop-ins is the uh, combination of vitamins and essential oils. That could be used as a uh, enhancement to any conditioner. Um, it can be used as a heat protection serum, a, a leave-in conditioner. It can also be used as a shining serum. Um, and it's even been used and reported as, it wasn't originally created for this purpose, but um, we, it's been reported that it has increased hair growth in the area of, uh, like, the hairline and you know thinner areas of the hair. Oh, so like if you know, like because a lot of women suffer from like thin Al edges. Yes, like alopecia. Uh huh. And, yes. Uh, thin edges and alopecia. Yes. Wow. So okay. um, uh, it has been reported that it has helped aid the hair growth in that area. Mm -hmm. um, the other is the oil steam treatment. It's a uh, hot oil treat. It's like a revamp to the traditional hot oil treatment, including uh -huh. additional vitamins. And oils is for um, extra dry and brittle hair uh, damaged by other chemicals or heat. Um, the process to, for that application is, is different, but you know, it comes in a different bottle that's also being repackaged as we speak. Um, and the other, the newest product is the cream moisturizer. Okay. Um, it's, it can be applied on wet hair or dry hair, but the use is for dry hair to uh, minimize breakage um, and you know, keep the hair well hydrated without a lot of buildup and oil. So. Okay, so it's a cream conditioner you can use on dry hair? It's a cream moisturizer. Oh, I'm sorry, cream moisturizer yes. you can use on dry hair. Okay. Yes. Okay, and tell me, where do you see Formula N in the next five to ten years? Um, I see Formula N as a global brand. I see um, it expanding, um, and um, I it's you know part of my dream to have it in Paris and in uh, London and you know in other places and develop other branches and um, just just to expand and create additional uh, products for the line so um, I see it honestly becoming a multi-million dollar brand that's my dream that's Speak my goal it. Speak um, it. yes you know as long as the product works and people are satisfied then you know I don't see why it can't be so do you want it in every drugstore? Yes. I mean, I, if it, it can be picked up by major distribution, um, definitely. Uh, but by, I, I would love to uh, have most of it through to selective uh, stores and sold online, you know. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't shade the major stores. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't throw them shade. No, Because no. that's marketing. Yes. That's what right. are the three don'ts? when it comes to hair care? What, like, what are the three, your three top things that you don't do when it comes to hair care? Don't wear cotton scarves or uh, materials on your head without um, you know, some kind of barrier between it that's either silk or satin because it absorbs all the moisture out of your hair which will eventually cause breakage. So even down to pillowcases, like you know, should be uh, satin pillowcases or silkish really? pillowcases if you choose not to cover your hair at night, especially for um, hair that is coarser or uh, curlier. Is it really that real? Because yeah, I've heard is. that. Because it breaks slowly and you won't notice it um, as it's happening until it's like little short pieces. So no everywhere. cotton pillowcases? No cotton. We grew up on cotton pillowcases. <laughs> right. Why are you telling us to switch over <laughs> from cotton to satin? Yeah, I mean either that or you know a good trick is get a little silky shirt and put it right over the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> an old silky shirt, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's one. Uh, two, two is uh, to moisturize uh, at least three times a week at minimum, you know, all over. Um, and to include treatments in, in your hair at least uh, two to three times a month to maintain its health. Wow. Two to three times a month. Okay. Yeah. So don't not treat it. Don't use uh, cotton stuff and don't neglect moisturizers. Okay. Now, is there a such thing as like over treating your hair or over moisturizing your hair? Um, I don't. I I wouldn't say you could ever over moisturize it because, you know, as long as it has, I mean, unless you want something that's full of body, then you can, you know, it'll affect the style. But um, I think the more moisturizing, the better because it'll keep it um, from breaking and looking dry. Okay. And the same thing for treating? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can over treat unless you're using uh, maybe protein treatments and stuff like that to get the hair hard. But Oh, no. okay. Do you plan to one day open your own hair salon or day Absolutely. spa? Absolutely, yes. I mean, that's a, a part of um, the formula and vision as well. 
Um, I definitely would love to uh, open a chain of salons and potentially a beauty training uh, program for... Oh, a beauty school as well? Yes. Cosmetology school, okay. And so can you describe how you think your, your dream salon would be? Like, would it just be hair? Or would you do hair, nails, skin? And yeah. just a whole, like a, maybe a spa or, or just a salon? Um, I would probably concentrate from, from the neck up, especially for uh, like uh, the formula and branded salons. But mm -hmm. I definitely would love to do like, you know, upscale salons that can encompass all services. Now, I see why you're so successful, because you're a giver, okay? You're a giver because, tell me about your involvement with the, the Bloom Awards. Okay. And, you know, tell me about the Bloom Awards first, and then about how you, you got involved with them. Well, the, the Bloom is actually a program that I initiated that um, we wanted, I wanted to do something to give back to young girls that are trying hard and, um, you know, made me now have the resources to uh, get their hair done all the time. So we figured for uh, this one event, it would be for prom season, that mm -hmm. we would bless the girls I got. I got a team, some of the people that I work with in the entertainment industry to come mm -hmm. in. And um, we did hair and makeup and they brought dresses. The parents were there. And it was a really, really rewarding experience. We just wanted to show them that, you know, that we see them, that, mm -hmm. you know, working hard and trying your best to turn your life around, mm -hmm. it, it will come, you, your rewards will come when you least expect it. And exactly. those girls were definitely blessed. We were blessed by being able to serve them. Um, and it was it was a very 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 beautiful experience. We were able to get obtain sponsorship from um, you know uh, Design Essentials Formula N sponsored it as well, and um, other uh, friends and family members that knew what we were what I was doing, and you know all came together and, and made it happen. So the girls got pictures. I mean, there's videography, and mm -hmm. we knew we had a, a great time, and it was a very rewarding and emotional experience. I can imagine, I can imagine. You know, when you pour into someone else and you see the joy on their face, you know, and in their heart, you know, it just makes you just, just want to melt inside. Yes. So I can definitely understand how that probably made you feel. Well, that this is why you're so blessed. You see, take notes, gold diggers, okay? <laughs> if you want to be blessed, you have to bless somebody else. When you, when you give that which you seek, when you give that which you seek, you'll be blessed. If something that you need, bless somebody else with it. You need a job, bless somebody else with it. Okay, but that's, if, if you want success, you have to give. There is no other way to be successful, but you have to give. That is a must. That so, and Jerry, let's play the word game. I'm going to throw out a word, either the first thing that comes to your mind, just say it, okay? Okay. Okay. Love. God. Oh, yes. Um, let's say childhood. Challenging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dreams. Possible. Yes. Okay. And High school lunch. <laughs> Good, strangely. <laughs> <laughs> really? Good. But well, the ones I have were good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Mm, struggle. Necessary. Oh, yes, it is. It is necessary. Okay. And formula in hair care. Life changing. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now, and Jerry, what I need you to do, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to look in the camera mm -hmm. and I need you to speak to some gold diggers out there that, you know, they're trying to get their dreams off the ground. They don't know what to do. They're, they're a little afraid. They're afraid to take that first step. Or it could be someone who starts, then they stop. They start, then they stop. Tell them what to do. Tell them how, you know, Share your story. Tell them what to do, um, how to push through and get those dreams out there. Okay. What I, my uh, advice would be to uh, just don't 
don't uh, get down on yourself. Don't uh, give up on yourself. They will have moments of challenge. You will have moments of tears. You will have moments where you don't even know if this thing is going to happen. But what you can do is hold on to whatever hope you have and allow yourself to make these mistakes without judgment, without judging yourself. Put one foot in front of the other, even if it's um, one one thing you do to accomplish your goal one bring you one step closer to your mm -hmm. goal that day that you just allow yourself to do it and and reward yourself and be kind to yourself as you're going through this process because it's not easy and you the sun will shine one day one <laughs> after you get through i mean i have a ways to go in life um to get to where i aspire to be but it is because of the support and the love that I'm surrounded with that I'm even able to continue on after those hard times. So reach out to those that love you and just keep going. Just try not Don't to give stop. Up. And that's my advice. Don't give up. Don't give up because you never know how close you are. You might be one phone call away, one meeting away, yeah. one handshake away. From, from that big break, you never know how close you are. So don't ever give up. Now, Jerry, I need you to um, tell everyone where they can find you as a hairstylist and your products. Okay, you can find me um, via my website. You can either visit um, njsignaturehair.com or uh, visit my, for my products is formulaandhaircare.com and will soon be available on Amazon as well. Um, you can purchase the product at formulaandhaircare.com as well. Thank you so much for joining us here on Gold Digger TV. It was a pleasure to have you as a guest. You have to come back um, next spring whenever you have more products and have more stuff going on as well because I know your, your product is just going to grow and grow and grow. And thank you so much for sharing your story. And thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Hi, this is Njeri Archer, celebrity hairstylist, and you're watching Gold Digger TV.